So because it's Christmas time, I wanted to do some Christmas esques. And he's here, so deal with it. Christmas. <laughs> he was in red, so I had to wear green, but I don't know. Yeah. She works. Yeah. <laughs> I blend into my background. Yeah. Okay. So we're both gonna answer these. Huh? Because in the last one it was just him answering questions. So this one it's gonna be both of us. Okay. Do you have trouble sleeping on Christmas Eve? As a child, yes. As an adult, no. I used to. Some days some days. Some day. Some uh, years if I know I have something particularly like exciting going on or like if I'm super looking forward to something, then maybe I'll take longer to fall asleep. There was a fluffle and I shot it with my nose air. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Shame. What's your favorite Christmas snack? Um, Christmas snack. I have two. Uh, vitamins, I'll explain, and Chex Mix. My family makes homemade Chex Mix. Oh. They, they, they buy the individual toppings, right? They buy the little pretzel sticks. They, they buy Chex the little Chex whatever. cereal, the plain stuff, right? And then they bake it with Tony's. Oh. It's good stuff. Interesting. Um, my dad likes to go a little extra heavy on one batch, and he'll save that for just me and him because we like spice. Um, and then vitamins. What I mean by that is peanut M&Ms, specifically, in an ornate dish. It has to be an ornate dish, and it has to be peanut M&Ms. I know she doesn't like peanut M&Ms. You it's ask still me. Gonna, it's still going to be a thing. My thing, okay? My, I don't remember if it was my grandma that started it, um, or or if, if, like, her mom started it, and my dad always just picked it up from there where she would have this, it was a glass Christmas tree filled with peanut M&Ms. And those were our vitamins. And, and you know those are one of my favorite snacks. Uh, both of them are favorite snacks. I got cravings for them around Thanksgiving. And cravings enough to like go out and get it. It was kind of sad. Oh, I remember that. And we actually got some. I can't really think of any. Yeah, I... Is there is there like an appetizer or something your parents do regularly? Is there anything from like deep childhood that your maybe your grandparents would bake at all? No, I don't. I'm sorry. The only thing that I can think of, and I don't know if this counts as a snack, my mom puts it's like chocolate coal in our stocking. And I eat that every year. I mean, my vitamins don't really count as a snack, but, like... I, that's the only thing I got. What is your favorite Christmas song? Carol of the Bells. I have three. Um, not counting ACDC's Mistress for Christmas. Uh, I have, um... Or maybe four if I'm thinking about it. Um, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree is really good. Jingle Bell Rock's really good. Run Run Rudolph is really good all the, the rock and roll stuff. But yes, Carol the Bells is probably... Traditional Christmas song. Traditional only? That's how I... Yeah. Okay, well then, Carol the Bells doesn't count. Carol of the Bells is a traditional... I, yeah, but your version of it that you listen to No, it I didn't say remix or whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's a traditional song. In that case, the traditional um, Christmas song is uh, has got to be Carol the Bells. Like, cause I, she doesn't like Christmas music. I like Christmas really. music. I don't listen to it until it is December, and it's usually when my parents uh, are decorating the tree, uh, and we'll all decorate together with some Christmas music in the background. And my mom's got these CDs of Mariah Carey. I think. <laughs> yeah. Is her name? Yeah, that's it. Um, and Michael Bublé is also really good. Bublé, I've never heard. Of he's he's good. He's good. Uh, he got really popular when he made that Christmas album. Not that he wasn't already popular to begin with, but um. Like, I, I like all the traditional songs, but uh, my favorite is probably Carol the Bells, because I, I like the ones my mom listens to. They're just not, like, something I, I want to listen to unless yeah. it's, like, decorating the tree time. Chance of Beer and Orchestra is my favorite. I know it's not, like, traditional, but 
it's my favorite. It's just something about Carol the Bells, it just sounds really, really good. That's I why it transcends all it. styles. It just yeah. sounds really good. What are some of your family's Christmas traditions? Uh, we went over this in a video on our other channel. Mm -hmm. um, the cookies thing, we used to put um, cookies out for Santa all the time. I never did that. My mom gets in the habit of baking. She just kind of like is like all of a sudden I want to bake so she makes chocolate covered dog treats uh, safe chocolate or like fake chocolate or something like that um, obviously because we don't we don't want to hurt our dogs um, we, we did here um, poison the dog um, chocolate covered marshmallows is something that she does uh, we 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 definitely do fires more often uh, in in the winter because uh, that's that's fun Florida. yes well some of the nights get cold enough um, we did the reindeer, uh, reindeer food sometimes, where we'd have little like breadcrumbs and stuff, and we throw it out. I thought it was reindeer poop. No, where reindeer it's like the food. chocolate. No, I've seen like reindeer like poop. It's like chocolate. Yes, but I'm saying specifically, we did reindeer food for yeah. Santa's reindeer. We would take um, like breadcrumbs and maybe some like vegetables or something, and chop them up in little bags, and we would either I don't remember if we left them out, but I remember us tossing it into the lawn. Um, yeah, for Santa's reindeer to eat while he was leaving presents. It was adorable. I never did that. Um, what other... Uh, we do Christmas Eve uh, dinner every year. We uh, do that. And, we, and if I'm remembering it correctly, which I, my memory is so weird, um, we do lasagna, homemade lasagna every year. And Caesar salad, which is also homemade. It's really good stuff. Hmm. Uh, and there's one other tradition I'm trying to, trying to remember. Because... Um, they have a habit of ending up doing a Christmas breakfast, but my immediate family, mom, dad, sister, don't like doing it because it's a hassle and we don't want to get out of the house that early. We want, we want to wake up, Oh, like relax, go, go for breakfast. open some, no, no, uh, Sandy's always like, hey, come to our house for, for breakfast with lots of people. And it's like, no, no, we want to wake up, open presents, or chill for a minute. Uh, and perhaps start cooking for the dinner, and then we're good. <laughs> yeah. None of this house shuffling with too many family members, like none of that Griswold stuff. But that's another one. We have uh, movies we watch every year. We watch uh, at least two of the Santa Claus movies. I don't think we own the third one or like it. Um, we watch uh, Family Vacation. We watch Scrooged. And I think there's one other I'm forgetting. Um, but there's a lot of traditions. Well, it's just, like, it's the only time to do it around the air. But my favorite tradition, and this one's this one's relatively new, and it's it's kind of my fault. My mom makes cherry cheesecake as breakfast on Christmas. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> she, I, th I think she did it one year just because she wanted to. She thought it'd be fun, and then it turned out so good. And I'm just like, I was like, can we do that again? That she's like, it's a it's a Blake thing now, so she like does it oh. for me every year. I think. I, I could be wrong, but yeah, that's sorry. Sorry, sorry. Christmas traditions. I don't have that many. Um We open a present on Christmas Eve. One present on Christmas Eve. Uh we okay. While we're like opening presents and like going about the day of like Christmas and that kind of thing, they'll have movies on in the background. Yes. My family does that. But it's always like a theme. So they'll play all the Star Wars movies. They'll play all the Harry Potter movies. They'll, yeah, don't do that. They'll play all, a bunch of Disney movies. That was one year. Um, that kind of thing. I think it's just, it started out like whatever mood my mom was in. That was what was on the TV. That makes sense. Um, the coal thing in the stocking, that's been at least two, three years now. She puts coal in our stocking. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Okay. We have a tree, that's a tradition. <laughs> yeah, no, we definitely do. Something my family did a couple of times, but kind of stopped doing. Okay. Our tree is themed ah, every year. Ah, yes, yes, you always do a different tree every we year. We do a different tree every year. It's not like the standard Christmas, so like, I think I can probably put up some pictures. I'll put it over Blake's face. <laughs> <laughs> One year we did Harry Potter, where it was like all the ornaments and um, stuff were in the colors of the houses and they had like the sorting hat as the tree topper. Um, we did Star Wars one year, my mom put a bunch of like plushies in the tree, and, like Darth Vader's helmet as the topper. Um, this year it was like traditional, so they got like a pencil tree where it's like super skinny, 
and it was like frosted on the ends and they made like the paper chains and the popcorn strings so like this old school yeah like absolutely um, traditional ass yeah tree. but yeah that that's a tradition we do like a themed tree every year um we did hello kitty one year oh my god so it was like a white tree I thought it was pink was it a pink no it was a white tree with pink lights oh that's why that's what it was, it was. Tree. because yeah it. when you turned it on it just looked like a pink tree um everything was like hello kitty ornaments it was all white and pink and sparkly and my mother <laughs> that was and like it's funny because every year um i guess this counts every year each kid's presents are wrapped different like a different paper mm. So it's like color coded. So, and um, this kind of dropped off, but I used to be the present sorter. I literally would like crawl under the tree and like push everything out and I would like organize it in piles and I was the present sorter. I haven't done that in a while. My family doesn't do that. They just wrap in whatever shit that they got and then we have little tags or shit written on it. And it's like two well, I mean, they'll, they'll write whose name it is, yeah. but like my mom's is generally pink. My dad's is generally like blue. My brother, because we each have like a color. Uh -huh. Mine's purple, although they, it's really hard to find purple wrapping paper. Um, but yeah, so each kid and each, generally, we have our own wrapping paper. So you can tell whose presents are whose. That counts. I, I count that as a tradition. <laughs> that, no, that counts. That absolutely counts. My parents tried for a long time and it was a tradition, but then like, it, it stopped working. They, we would go on, I don't remember if it was like Christmas Eve, uh, dr uh, runs or a Christmas night runs uh, where we would all pile up in my dad's truck and we'd go look at lights. We'd look at Christmas lights. I think we just Allie drive does through that. neighborhoods. Well, the neighborhoods around us stopped doing it, so we, we it just stopped being fun because there weren't enough lights to go yeah, see. Yeah, that's my thing. So it's like a lot of people like you'll have one string across the front. That's it. Um, there used to be in Wisconsin. I think there's some down here too. Where you like, he's never heard of this. I told him about it before. It was like, Northern Paper helped me out because I, I don't know what it was called. Um, it's like a giant park and it's all these shapes in Christmas lights. So it's like there's a polar bear in lights, there's a Santa's sleigh in lights, and you turn the radio to a certain station and there's like oh, yeah, music and stuff that you like listen to as you drive around this park and it's like five bucks to get in or free. Um, it's awesome. I like it. I don't know. I really liked that, but yeah, I... No, I don't do that around here. No. No. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? <sighs> I like the fuzzy feelings. I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I like... Okay. I like finding the perfect present and having people open it and their face lights up and they're like, oh my gosh, this is like awesome. I'm so glad you thought of this. Like, like I just, I feel so happy inside. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my favorite part. Like, cause I'm able to show my appreciation for people by getting Oops. them something that either they've wanted for a long time yeah. or something that I see that instantly makes me think of them yeah. kind of thing. I'm telling you, man, you gotta use my Christmas method. Oh, he writes it throughout the year, mm -hmm. which I mean is a good idea because I don't remember shit from like February that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that's my point. You write it down, and it, it's uh, like you write it down if you know it's a really really good present, and then you come to it at the end of the year and you're like, all right, uh, I, I'm going to get this thing, and they're really going to like it because if they don't have it at that point, then yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, what what do that's I like favorite. most about Christmas? Um, I, I mean, the same basic thing you said. I, 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 I like spending time with my family and just sitting around together and, and enjoying those movies together and thinking back to the Christmases that we've had and the Christmases we're going to have. And then I like the dinners that we have and like the time we get to sit, sit around just kind of chatting and being together and whatnot and, and, and that kind of stuff. And, and I, I do like the traditions that we have. I, I like the, oh, well, let's go sit down and watch Scrooged, or let's all <laughs> do the, the tree together and whatnot, where it's just kind of like us time. Rel together, relaxing, uh, having yeah. some fun, maybe playing a board game or something, or, or whatever, you know? Like, I, I enjoy the family time that comes out of it, in general. I can't think of anything else. That I, I really like, like the stuff. 
<laughs> Grinch. No, I like my Christmas. Do you find Christmas to be stressful? Yes. Christmas is absolutely stressful. Um, no. No. No stress on your end? No. No. Hmm. Okay. Not this um, year. No, this year hasn't been stressful at all, but that's because we're not living in jacks with our families who are stressed or whatever, right? It's just yeah. the two of us out here alone. My family's a mess. <laughs> um, well, like, okay, you've seen Christmas Vacation. Now, you don't like it, but the way they depict Christmas in that is absolutely true to life. That, oh, it's going to be this great thing. We'll bring in all our family members from like across the state and they'll all just live in our house and we'll, we'll, we'll make food and it'll be fun we'll all be together and all the kids and no it's a fucking nightmare um, <laughs> and, and, and my family does something similar to that where um, yeah, no. sometimes my grandparents will come in and stay with us for a couple of days uh, for Christmas but usually we end up going to them in Alabama we will pile in my car and, and uh, not my car specifically but in, in a car and we'll drive all the way to Alabama uh, from Jacksonville and uh, it's this huge ordeal, and we'll be there for like a week. And uh, it, it, it just because you're around so many family members in such a in such a small area, and there's no real escape, uh, kind of like it's hard to describe. Escape. But like being around family for that long, especially when it's it's certain family members you're not huge on. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it can be pretty stressful. Um, but in general. In general, it's not like the actual gift giving isn't stressful. Yeah. Getting the gifts can be if you go to the mall, because mall. Yeah, December that's sucks. really the only thing that I would say is stressful is like dealing with all the crowds and stuff. Yeah. Um, the I actual like, um, 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 house hopping we do during Christmas isn't yeah, that bad. Not so bad. But that's just because the houses are close. Yeah. So. Well, along the lines of the family thing, all my family's in Wisconsin, so I don't get that, you know. Um, it's just my family. It's me, my parents, my brothers. Yeah. And then, so I usually like stay with Allie. Her parents will do a little thing, generally. Um, I go to his parents' house for like either half the day or like Christmas Eve. Like this year we're doing Christmas Eve dinner. Um, but yeah, we just like house hop. Uh, I don't find that stressful. So. Yeah. Um, when did you stop believing in Santa? Um, I don't know. Because it, it was very gradual for me. Because I remember, obviously, as a kid, being, like, super huge on Santa. Like, most kids, Santa. right? Santa was the coolest thing in the world. Um, but then I remember getting to a point, because no one ever had the talk with me. Yeah. Both, and I mean that in both ways. No one ever gave me the birds and the bees talk and no one ever I don't gave think I got me that the, either, the Santa no. Claus talk. No one ever, right? The Santa I, I I just kinda <laughs> came to the realization on my own that he he's not a he's not real. Yeah. Like it just kinda naturally was like, okay, he doesn't exist. And I remember for a long time wanting to be that kid from Polar Express where I never get you know, stop believing in Santa and that kind of thing. And to this day I still kinda wish because that would be like I'll give you a little silver bell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I went like this for giant silver it, It'd be adorable. Well, because in the movie it was that big. It was. It was giant. Um, so like, I don't know. I don't know what age it was, but it was probably around the age of 10. Maybe a little earlier. Mine was earlier. I don't know. Mine was like 7 or 8. Mm. I distinctly remember one Christmas that I signed my brother's presents as Santa. Ooh, not okay. Oh, okay. That was ruined, really. Okay. I don't remember how. Like, like you said, nobody gave me like sat me down and was like Carmen. Mm -hmm. Which that's actually something that amuses me. Um, while I never uh, like signed any gifts to Santa, my family still gives out gifts from Santa to to us, to the family oh. members. I know that doesn't make any sense, right? Except my family we we all know santa doesn't exist it's cool right what do you mean <laughs> the, the reason we do it is like if this is a really big important gift uh like oh. my parents aren't gonna see this um i got my parents a roomba uh we have a couple of huskies and the fur is not manageable <laughs> it's awful so i bought them a roomba it, sh it should help fix the problem they have like tile wood floors and stuff they do now um so, 
like when I give it to them, I'm gonna say this is from Santa. Just, I don't know, that's just kind of one of the things we do. There's a couple of tiny things I've noticed as a family that we do. One of the things, and I've never seen anyone replicate this, uh, I think yeah, you're kind of getting it, is um, if, I, if I see you and I'm like walking past you or, uh, and I don't really want to acknowledge anything more than you exist, and I realize you do and I want to like awkwardly pass you, or, or if, you're, if I'm like sitting on the couch and you walk past me and I'm noticing you and our eyes meet, I'll just kind of like cross my eyes or something, just you know, make a silly face. I, I just I, I've never noticed. It's this. a thing that my dad does. It's a thing that I do. I swear I'm not the only one in my family that does it. It's just a thing. I do it at work sometimes because my uh, coworkers <laughs> will kind of glance at me and I'm just like I, I'm glancing at them. And I'm just like no. Yeah. Or or if it's like a Christmas gift to the family, like the like a TV or something like that, it'll be from Santa. Yeah. You know? My that dad does a thing where like he'll he'll get like extra presents for my mom and sign it from the kids. Uh. Or something, that, something like that, like standard, something that though. the kids can't afford, yeah, or something. But even though it's from him and she knows it's from him, <laughs> he signs it from the kids. We signed something or like, from the dogs once. That's funny. My um, the the huskies are hard to run because they they can't just be walked; they need to be run, right? So my mom can't run them. <laughs> she can't run like that, right? Uh, so she uses a bicycle to, to keep up with them, and she's really good at it now. Um, I, I would still prefer to skateboard. I have more control uh, over that. She doesn't have the balance for it. But um, when uh, my mom didn't have a bicycle for a very long time, and she, uh, we, we, my dad got her a Christmas present of a bicycle, really nice one too. That's nice. Um, and, and he signed it from the dogs, uh, you know, to her from the dogs. Yeah. And he, he had them because uh, our, our backyard is is grass. But it does get muddy, like most backyards do, and he got their paws particularly dirty and put them on a sheet of paper to sign them Snowy and Zane. It was adorable. Little muddy paw prints. That's adorable. Yeah, it was, it was great. So we, we do that kind of thing. There's one last one. Okay. Describe Christmas Day. Like, like go through, like, what's your yeah. typical Christmas yeah. day? Yeah. Um, I wake up at 7. And I go out and I stare at the tree and all the presents are there and it looks really nice. Um, and I wait patiently for my parents to wake up around 10. But I th they, that, that was like years ago. So now they get up around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, and we usually either eat breakfast, like the cherry cheesecake I mentioned, uh, and they drink some coffee, and then we start opening gifts. They put on some Christmas music, and uh, we open gifts one at a time. Uh, well, usually my one of us will walk over to the tree, grab one for each of us, pass it, and then we all wrap unwrap one like at a time or something like that. I don't, mm. it, it's kind of we have our own organization down. in certain ways. Um, <laughs> I may have just thrown it on our bed, but you know. Uh, and then uh, in the past we would go to Sandy's because she would bug us long enough or whatever. But um, what well, after we relax and it's roughly lunchtime then we will go to sandy's house and unwrap gifts there with all of our grandparents and then we will have a christmas day dinner um i believe if i'm not mistaking that and we'll we'll go to my grandparents house and have you know dinner and open a couple of gifts there if they weren't at sandy's or something like that so that's kind of my day um but now that i'm older i have my own car i also add in at some point i go to her house because her parents. mom gets me gifts, yeah. uh, like a silly person, and that kind of thing. You're so. part of the family. You're not going anywhere. Yes. Um, mine is kind of similar in the beginning. So, at first, like when we were younger, it was like you can't open presents until mom finishes her coffee. <laughs> my mine was uh, you couldn't wake my parents up to open the presents. As well, a see, child, that, yeah. I wanted it. But that was that was to prevent us from waking her up. Yeah. It's like even if you wake her up, that doesn't guarantee you're gonna open presents. Yeah. That just means she's gonna get her coffee and sip it very, very slowly, slowly yeah. because you woke her up. Yeah. Um Although now it's like wait till mom and Carmen finish their coffee. <laughs> yeah. Um We usually have some kind of breakfast. My my dad usually makes breakfast, although he won't be doing this that this year. Um, we'll have some kind of something. And then we don't do the one, like, one at a time. We pass out everybody's presents, so they each have, like, a giant pile. Mm -hmm. 
which is kind of interesting because sometimes I have like a little fork on me. Um, and then we go around like one person even evens opens. Eva! They open one present each, and then the next person opens one, and then the next person. And if one person has a, more than others, we make them go like two, three times in a row to catch up. And yeah. That kind of thing. So that way, by the end of it, we all. Last year, last year, I had 47. <laughs> um, and then, usually by this time, the movies have been on, like I said, the theme. Um, and then the rest of the day is pretty mellow, just kind of playing with whatever we got. Break off in your own separate corners. Yeah. Um, we usually do Christmas dinner. It used to be very traditional with like the ham and, and that kind of thing. But my dad started branching off. He, let's see, was it last year, the year before, we had crab legs because my mom wanted them. This year my mom said we might be doing ribs. Hmm. So, but some kind of Christmas dinner. Yeah. Um, we call the grandparents. That's, that's a thing that we do. Um, we'll start with my grandma thigh leg. We'll go to my dad's parents and then grandma peg. Yeah. So like, my mom will start it off, or my dad, depending on whose parents it is. They'll talk for a little bit. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, we haven't talked to you forever. Blah, 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 blah. Pass it to each kid, <laughs> and then pass it to the respective parent that hasn't talked to them yet, and that's the end of that one phone call. And then you call the next parent, and then you call the next parent, and... I'm so glad I don't do that. Eh, it's not bad. Well, because cause we don't I see know, them. I know. I get it. I'm, I'm just saying. And it's kind of awkward, because, like, my grandparents are very religious people, so... And they, uh, they don't really know that I'm into the goth subculture part. So any of the presents that I get, I'm like, give me Sephora gift cards, give me books. No, give me a gift, book, gift card for books, because the books you get me will not be the ones I will read. Um, Michael's gift cards, like, give me money. You know, I can't be like, give me Crimson Peak movie. Give me, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I did tell my mom that, though. Yeah. I was like, I don't really want Crimson Peak because if you don't buy it, I'm just going to buy it. Um, so yeah, we call the grandparents, Christmas dinner, and then yeah, like you said, the house hopping. There's really no order we do it in. We just kind of wing it every year. Like, I usually stay with Allie. And then, so like that morning, I'll drive over to my parents' house in pajamas. I just, I literally, I walk out the door and I'm just like, mm, fucking, <laughs> what? Um... And then like towards maybe the end of the day, like afternoon, you usually come over to my house and then we swap and yeah. yeah. I don't know, it's nice. I get to see everybody and it's very mellow. Yeah, there's no like timetable. I like it. I like Christmas. I like Christmas Day. Don't look at me like that. She complains for ever about Christmas. She hates the movies. She hates the songs. She hates the decorations. I do not she hate the, the decorations. She hates the religious salads. You're so frustrated. I do not hate the decorations. I, we went to Target the other day and I specifically said I like the decorations. I did. I did. I don't like the time around Christmas. So the entire month of December. Well, okay. It starts on Thanksgiving. Because it's not Black Friday anymore, it's Black Thursday and a half and Friday. Because my parents even started going shopping on, on Thanksgiving. And the minute that Halloween is over, there's Christmas decorations, there's Christmas music playing, there's Christmas, Christmas everything. And it just, it starts too early. People are too into it for the materialism. The religious zealots put the Christ back in Christmas. It's just... I get over it very quickly, but the actual day I like because I'm surrounded by family, I generally get cool stuff, you know, the actual day I like, like the idea of the season I, I like. Can, I can get behind that, I'm just giving you a hard time. I know. Because you I complain know. a lot. I do. And I really, I don't like Christmas music, there's only like eight songs that they put on a loop. Pretty much, which is kind of sad. <sighs> 
Or like the remixes. Yeah, Oops. which most of them suck. Yeah. But that was all I had for the Christmas tag. I'm sorry I ruined every video I've been in by scratching my face. <laughs> I, I do it don't too. Know what I push up my it. glasses. We well, have yeah, a see, like, you push up your glasses because they're slip and slide. No, my nose is itchy and my beard gets itchy and I'm just like, ah! Uh, He's melting. <laughs> I feel really bad about it, and 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 like I don't know how often I sniffed during this, but you'll hear it during our let's plays too. I'm just like, <laughs> it's oh, it's so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so annoying. I love you anyway. Anyway, that is the end of the Christmas tag. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Yule. Merry Christmas, Mahama Kwanzaa. Happy holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Oh, my butt. <laughs>